Hey, what's up, guys? So you took a amazing photo in game, and you want to know how to edit it, how to get it to pop and put it on your Instagram and get all those beautiful likes. I'm gonna walk you through how to do that. So bear with me. We're gonna be using a free app. You don't have to create an account. You don't have to do anything. It's gonna be a super easy tutorial. So stick with me. I'll show you. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you took a screenshot. Number one, most important, right? So usually with a game like DCS, you're gonna press print screen. Once you press print screen, it's going to capture that image and it's gonna put it somewhere uh, on your user, your user folder. So once you do that, here's what we're gonna do. Okay, so what I want you to go is type into your browser pixlr.com p-i-x-l-r.com and it's going to take you to this main web page here you're going to have two options and this is of october 1st 2020 it may change but this is so far what you're going to see you're going to have advanced pixlr which is right here and then you're going to have playful pixlr so advanced pixlr is going to be the closest thing to like a photoshop Whereas Playful Pixlr is going to be more like a meme editor. You can you can add stickers. You can do all kinds of you can add text or something like that. You can you can add a few filters, but it's not as comprehensive as the Advanced Pixlr. So we're going to run through the Advanced Pixlr and then I'll show you the pay, the Playful Pixlr after. So let's get started. Let's go find our our folder. Everybody's going to have the same kind of folder. So I'm going to go into Open Image, and you're going to have to look for it. Mine's going to be my C drive. It's going to be under my Users, Users. That's gonna be my profile. Whatever profile you have, Commander Saved Games, right here, Saved Games. I'm using DCS Open Beta that I wanna use. And then I'm gonna go click that and I'm gonna click Screenshots. Screenshots right here. I'm gonna double click that and it's gonna poop out all the different screenshots that I've taken by pressing Print Screen in game. So I'm like, okay, which one of these bad boys do I wanna use? So say I want to use this one. Okay, so we've got a few things here that we need to clear up. Like, okay, well, there's uh, there's a couple of uh, big C5 galaxies, but I've got some text out here I don't really want. I kind of want to clean this image up a little bit. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So the first thing I want to do is crop this. And notice I didn't have to log in. I don't have to create an account. I can just get in here and start doing stuff. So all I'm going to do is I'm literally going to click on the, on the corner, drag it in, drag it up to get rid of that little info bar down there. I'm going to just tighten the image up just a little bit, just a little bit, and then pull it in on that. Cool. So I'm cool with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click Apply, and that's going to shorten that image out right there. If you noticed immediately, I've, got, I've gotten rid of that, that bar, and now I want to kind of add some different coloring to this. So I want to play around with some of the filters and adjustments. So I'm going to go into like uh, uh, Hue and Saturation right here, and I'm going to move this out the way so we can see let's go ahead and add a little bit of saturation a little bit more uh, saturation here and that's going to make things a little bit brighter a little bit more crisp and a little bit more Ooh, that's pretty it pops it really pops you don't want to do too much because it kind of just makes it too damn colorful i'm going to back it off just a hair and now let's see with lightness you can add this see that that's going to darken it up you want to have a nice mixture of both so something that just kind of sets it up that, that really pops for you like that seems it's, it's too neutral. It's too neutral. I need to have like a little bit of a little bit of drama to it. Yeah, that's some drama right there, right? Go ahead and click apply. I'm already seeing a, a big difference from what I was seeing right there. And you can do things like you can vignette it. You can do a uh, filter so you can do like vignette and like, oh, dude, you know, I want, I want to do this effect. And so that kind of vignettes it and kind of like sets this. Oh, dude, it's like one of those awesome vignetted pictures or you can do negative vignette and do it with white so it's up to you i'm not going to vignette it and then now we've got uh highlights and shadows and so we can do highlights that's all the highlights none of the highlights mid highlights shadows uh no shadows quite a few shadows and then you can just figure out where in between you want it or if you even want to apply any of that like that i'm just gonna I'm gonna go negative just slightly just to kind of add a little bit more drama to this image just a little bit cool so already it's just completely different from where I started right it's just it's really 
it's really something else. I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bit larger so on the screen so you guys can see this. Let's bring this on down. Beautiful, beautiful, okay. So, right now I have made Leaps and Browns improvements. I'm happy with it, whatever. I can add a filter to it later or an outline to it. Uh, you can also do things like, say I just wanna do it black and white. Desaturate the image. I don't wanna do that. I did all that effort pulling all that. I didn't really do much effort pulling all that that the stuff out there and you can do pretty much whatever else you want to do sponge and color you can you can just sponge it around and whatever the hell that does I, I'm not even sure what that does so you can bloom you had a bloom effect which it just kind of washes it out like oh shit yeah or you can just leave it as is that's fine filter and these are just from artsy parts like artsy fartsy styles. So say I want to pixelate it, I can just do this and it's like, all right, well, there you go. There's some there's some pixels. I don't want to do that. And details, you can sharpen, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can smooth it. So like say I want to smooth it. Kind of blurs it just a little bit. But I think it's fine as is. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna save it. I like to save as PNG because PNG is going to be the best quality uh, image that you're going to get out of this. Uh, yeah, I think it's PNG. So I'm going to download that. It's going to throw it in my downloads. So I'm going to save it. It's going to be in my downloads. So I want to show you the difference between this one. It takes three seconds. They have to do a little add, and then you're done. It's saved in your download folder. So now I'm going to get go ahead and close out of this and go back into the main Pixlr thing. So click on Pixlr. And let's go into Playful Pixlr. So let's go take that photo that I edited. And it, the cool thing is it'll also pop up right here. So if you didn't, for whatever reason, you can open the image, you can go to Downloads, and there it is. And your top, it should be at the top of your downloads right there. And you can pull it up. There's your image right there. You can do a little bit more uh, editing to it. So you can adjust the vibrant saturation uh, temperature. If you didn't do that in the other one, you can do it in this one. But there's just a little bit, as you saw, there's a little bit more uh, that you can do to play around with stuff in the other one. So this is also going to give you the ability to do more temperature. So let's increase the temperature. Ooh, look how warm that is. That's a little warm for my business. Or you can cool it down. Get a little blue filter on it. Yeah, whatever, you know, whatever's clever. Even that's not, ooh, that's too hot, too hot, too hot. And it's a little bit more saturation. See how much more saturation. Ooh, that's too much, too much. And some vibrance. What does this vibrance do? Oh, that's vibrant. That's yeah, a bit of too vibrant. And that's not enough vibrance. Kind of takes it out of it. And this is all free. That's what I love about this. It's all free. So there you've got your own little vibrant setup. I'm going to pull those back a little bit. Um, Let's pull this up just a hair. See, you can even do more in this thing. How cool is that? And now, say you want to add some text. You can say, and there's cool things right here that you click on font. You got all these different fonts you can choose from. Scroll all the way down and find whatever you want. Whatever kind of font you want. Font. Font. Say I want to use this funny looking one right here. And it pre-populates with whatever that is. And I can say something like, I don't know, uh, cargo life. If I can spell cargo life. Awesome, right? Now, there's ways that you can um, make the life appear behind the image. But that's going to require layer masks and, and other things like that that I'm not going to get into right now. But this is just a quick down and dirty on how to how to kind of just spice up your, your images. And I think it's a, it's a pretty cool little platform. And you can change your colors, you can make the size larger, you can uh, put a background on it, you can take background off, letter spacing, you can space it out, you can line space it out, you can do uppercase, bold it, you can italicize it. You can do whatever you want. I think it's a pretty cool program. Hope you guys like it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and press delete for that one because I don't want any text. And there's my image. 
now I'm ready to upload this to the gram. I'm ready to put this on the, the book of faces or, you know, whatever. Hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully you guys like, subscribe, uh, dislike, unfollow, whatever you guys want to do. Catch you guys next time.